Dear students, the post-synaptic potentials may be excitatory or inhibitory. In this module, we shall discuss these two types of post-synaptic potentials. First, we shall discuss the excitatory post-synaptic potentials. A synaptic potential that makes the post-synaptic neuron more likely to fire an action potential is called the excitatory post-synaptic potential. It results from the flow of positively charged sodium or calcium ions into the post-synaptic cell. It happens when ligand-gated ion channels open due to the binding of neurotransmitter molecules produced in fast chemical transmission. Dear students, the flow of ions that causes excitatory post-synaptic potential is known as the excitatory post-synaptic current. The current through a single line channel is too small. That is, a current जो एक चैनल में से आयन फ्लो की वजह से प्रोड्यूस होती है वो तो बहुत थोड़ी सी होती है इट कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस ए सिग्निफिकेंट इफेक्ट ऑन द पोस्ट सिनेप्टिक सेल मेम्ब्रेन एक्चुअली करंट्स थ्रू मेनी चैनल्स आर सम्ड अप यानी जमा कर ली जाती हैं जिस प्रोसेस को सम्मेशन कहते हैं और एज ए रिजल्ट पोस्ट सिनेप्टिक सेल में एक्साइटेटरी पोस्ट सिनेप्टिक पोटेंशियल जनरेट होता है डियर स्टूडेंट बिकॉज ऑफ समेशन लार्ज एक्साइटेटरी पोस्ट सेनेप्टिक पोटेंशियल रिजल्ट इन ग्रेटर मेम्ब्रेन डी पोलराइजेशन दैट इंक्रीजेज द लाइकलीहुड ऑफ पोस्ट सेनेप्टिक सेल टू रीच थ्रेश होल्ड टू फायर एंड एक्शन पोटेंशियल द न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स which are most often associated with producing the excitatory postsynaptic potential in central nervous system is the glutamate while wo neurotransmitter jo peripheral nervous system mein neuromuscular junctions ke upar excitatory postsynaptic potential generate karne mein sabse aham kirdar ada karta hai wo acetylcholine hai Dear students, now we shall discuss the inhibitory post-synaptic potentials. एक ऐसा synaptic potential जो के post-synaptic neuron में action potential generate करने की probability को decrease कर दे. That is called inhibitory post-synaptic potential. Such potentials generate because of the inflow of negative ions or the outflow of positive ions the inhibitory synaptic currents are carried by channels that are permeable to potassium channel potassium ions or chloride ion ya to chloride ions ke liye agar permeable hongi to chloride ion cell ke andar jayenge ya phir potassium ion ke liye agar permeable hongi to potassium ions bahar aa jayenge इसका रिजल्ट क्या होगा इसका रिजल्ट ये होगा कि जो पोस्टनेप्टिक पोटेंशियल है वो जनरेट नहीं हो सकेगा दीज इनहिबिटरी पोस्टनेप्टिक पोटेंशियल्स कैन अकर इन ऑल केमिकल सनेप्सिस दैट रिलीज द इनहिबिटरी न्यूरो कुछ न्यूरो ऐसे हैं जो कि इनहिबिटरी रोल प्ले करते हैं जैसे कि गाबा यानी गैमा अमाइनो बुटाइल और ग्लाइसिन है गैमा अमाइनो बुटारिक एसिड और ग्लाइसिन है दीज इनहिबिटरी न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स बाइंड टू द रिसेप्टर्स विच इंड्यूस 
change in the permeability of postsynaptic membrane to particular ions that is chloride or potassium ions. The mechanism of inhibition due to these neurotransmitters includes that the ionic currents cause the postsynaptic membrane to become more negative than the resting membrane potential. This is resting membrane potential ke mukavle mein membrane negative ho jati hai to iska matlab hota hai ki ye to hyperpolarization ho gayi. Action potential generate karne ke liye to depolarization produce karni hoti hai. Lehada wo wali neurotransmitters aur wo wali neurotransmission jo ke depolarization ki bajaye hyperpolarization increase paida kar de wo excitatory nahi बल्कि वो इनहिबिटरी होगी। Dear students, actually these are not the neurotransmitters which are inherently excitatory or inhibitory. Actually these are the properties of those channels and the specificity of those channels with certain neurotransmitters that causes the ions to flow through them. Agar ek neurotransmitter ek aise channel ko open karta hai, jiske through chloride ions ki transfer ho jayegi, to that will become inhibitory. So, mainly the neurotransmitters which are responsible for the activating such channels are act as inhibitory. Dear students, there are some neurotransmitters which act both as inhibitory as well as excitatory. A best example of such neurotransmitter is acetylcholine, which acts as an excitatory neurotransmitter at the neuromuscular junction, where it opens the sodium uh, ion channels and cause the inflow of sodium and outflow of potassium. The same acetylcholine is inhibitory in the parasympathetic neurons in the heart. Vahaan par ye potassium selective channels ko affect karti hai aur hyperpolarization ki stage ko prolong kar deti hai. Ye aap zehen mein rakhye ga ke koi bhi inhibitory ya excitatory effect cellular regulations ke liye ek important Phenomena hai or ye inhibition agar ki jati hai, to action potentials ko agar roka jata hai, to ye bhi ek regulatory mechanism hota hai.